but we just finished watching Train Spotting 2. And it was just, it was like a giant fan service of nostalgia, first off. It was off. so satisfying. And very satisfying at the same time. Dude, Bud is a precious cinnamon roll that needs to be protected. Explain more of that. Because he's precious. You just feel bad for him. You do. Like, he never did anything wrong. I like how they didn't start using heroin until the first, like, until, like, almost two hours into the movie. Hour and 12 minutes. Yeah. And Spud doesn't do heroin. No, he's trying to get clean, and you can respect him for that, because he's trying really hard. Yeah, but what happened is, but like, and then Sick Boy, dude, he's so fucking evil. Uh-huh. And then Baby's, like, eviler. He's, like, he's always been evil. I know, well, duh, but, he like. He was the bad guy in the last movie. And this one, he was, like, really bad. I mean, he was psycho before, but this time he has more motivation to kill Renton. Oh, yeah, later, like, during the movie, you kind of find out that Spud mm-hmm. was the author of, um, Train Spotting. Yeah, because explain the novel. The novel's really nice, and it's, like, red in a Scottish accent. Yeah. So you're thinking in a Scottish accent. And now you know why. Mm-hmm. It's because Spud wrote it. <laughs> like, I can't decide. What's more fan service, this or uh, SLC Punk? SLC Punk wasn't really that much fan service.